Alrighty, after a mini month hiatus, it is time for another Battle Box video. And I'm going to tell you why I decided to do this and what I think you'll get out of it coming up next here on Survival on Purpose. Welcome back to Survival on Purpose. My name is Brian. Thanks for joining me in my office surrounded by battle boxes. So, as I said, I'm going to tell you why I decided to, to, to make today's video and why I decided to, we're going to try to maybe do some catch up on these other boxes and um, release a video every few days and, and what I think you'll get out of that. So, first of all, the reason why is because they've been sending me these boxes every month and I haven't made a video, so shame on me. It's kind of not nice to them, certainly not nice to you. So, I feel like I need to do that. Even though the last time I did this catch up thing, the videos got very, very, very low views. Like, I mean, 100, 200 views each. So, um, hopefully, if you're this far along in it, you'll, I'll, I'll can explain to you why I think there's some value in it. Today's video is sponsored by Hog Holsters. Hog Holsters are made in the USA and Arizona, and they are without a doubt the most comfortable concealable holster I've ever tested. You can save 10% on your order at Hog Holsters by using the coupon code Survival on Purpose, all one word. That's hogholsters.com. Thanks to Hog Holsters for sponsoring today's video. So, um, first of all, again, if you're if you're at all interested in Battle Box, then certainly this is um, uh, just adds to the library of what you might expect and examples of what you might could expect from them. But second of all, and the same reason that these these manufacturers and people send their stuff, put their stuff in battle boxes, is because it's to introduce you to things that maybe you didn't even know existed. So I'm just kind of look at these boxes. There's actually I've, I've I've gone over all these. There's some pretty cool stuff in there I didn't know existed. You might think the same thing about it. So we're gonna bust this sucker open right now and get to that. So. This is Mission 109. If you've seen these Battle Box videos, you know that there's a lot of stuff in here at different levels. This is the uh, complete Pro Plus level. So there's four levels. Each level you pay more money and you get more stuff, right? I'm not here to tell you if what, what's worth it. You can decide that. I'm just here to show you what's in here. And then maybe maybe you'll see something that you didn't know existed and it sparks your, sparks your interest. So, And the first thing I'm gonna show you, this one in the basic box is something I didn't know existed. And I think personally, it is super super cool because I um I've had an issue with this before and these are poison oak and ivy removal wipes and wipe skin as thoroughly as possible after exposure to urushiol which is basically it's the oil in poison ivy and poison oak that makes you itch and honestly I don't know what the difference is between poison oak and poison ivy they look exactly the same to me so one of them goes up a tree so either way I don't like it. They, they make me break out into big hives. It really, really is, and it really bothers me. So, um, this is something you can have with you, and, and clean that off and wipe it off. And it, it contains water, ethanol, a bunch of other stuff for you. So basically, it's just a, it's a oil, I guess, an oil destroying soap. And Joy Soap does a really good job. Or I'm sorry, Dawn. I'm Dawn. You know, Dawn dishwashing liquid does a good job. But you got to get it on quick. You got to remove that oil before it has a chance to soak into your skin. So if you can carry these with you, and you know if you rubbed up against something that has um you know, poison ivy, go ahead and wipe it now. Which I think that's a really really great idea because I can't tell you how many times I've gotten some poison ivy on me, but it's been a long a long period of time before I can get back to where there was some some actual soap and water. I'm trying to open this thing up without destroying the entire little packaging there, but it's come in these little packages like this. So very small. You can put them in your pocket, put them in your pack. Uh, I think this would be a great, great, great thing to have. This right here is a winner in my opinion. So box, torn box and all. So that's pretty cool. Now the second thing in the basic box is a utility rope. It's just this little kind of braided flat rope and it says it has a tensile strength of 1100 pounds, ultimate tensile strength. So it's very convenient to carry like this. It's got a little cutter in here. You can just uh, cut it off and keeps you from getting tangled. If it, you will spend zero time untangling your rope if you have one of these. And it's pretty cool, 70 feet. So it's a pretty handy little little deal there. I can't tell you how many hours I've spent in my life untangling rope. Okay, and then the next item is something that's been in some other battle boxes. They must have a bunch of these left over. Uh, it's hot snot, fire lube in a tube. So maybe we'll do a review on this one and check it out. You know I like some fire stuff, but uh, that's it. That's there. And that's everything in the... No, it's not. One more thing in the basic box. I'm sorry. The silver tracking animal flashing, animal tracking flashcards. And they are pretty cool too, I think. Let's see if we can open these suckers up. 
Last time I did these one of these videos, people were like, "Yeah, you got to show me that stuff." So, okay, I'm gonna show it to you now. Then. So it's just a, it's just a deck of cards, and it shows the uh, animal tracks, and then it tells you what what the animal is, and it's got a lot of other tracking, little tracking um, tips and stuff like wide angle vision and different things. So, for example, let's see how good you are with this. What kind of track? Is that surely you know that one? Surely you do. And it's a white-tailed deer. And what's cool about it on the back, it's got information that tells you what the stride is, how long it normally is, where they feed, what what the seasons are, they mate and gestate, and um, just habits, different things. And then it's even got a scale here to tell you about how big you can expect this to be. So pretty handy if you're trying to learn to track animals and track track wildlife. Uh, so that's pretty cool. I mean, it's, you know. Um, pretty neat little deal there. Be great for, for Boy Scout troop. So the next level, that's the basic box. So the next level, you pay a little more money, you get a little more stuff. And this this month, that month actually, <laughs> the, the next level was, was the, is the advanced box. And this is what was in the advanced box. And it's a big old box. It says this is a neck knife. So it's a pretty big box for a neck knife. But it's a really, it really, it's a Holzman, so Holzman Gorilla, really fancy packaging here. Let's see what's in there. So we got a some sort of a pocket clip here. You can wear it, so you can use this as a pocket clip. Has a sheath. It's got multi-mountable options. You can you, obviously you can put the pocket clip on it. You can put this um, s sort of a tech lock. It's probably not an actual tech lock because I think that is a brand name. But this little you know tech lock kind of kind of clip and I think it's kind of cool this is small so it doesn't really it's not like a big fat one you got a chain here to go around your neck a little ball chain and it comes with a even comes with an allen wrench to allow you to you put these um, Chicago screws in that you need um, so it comes with an extra chain if you want to use a chain a breakaway chain instead of an, a hard nylon a neck lanyard which is safer because you you know it'll break away instead of choking you and then a little t a thin ferrocerium rod that will go right into the sheath here like so as you can have that with you which again is pretty stinking cool I think anyway because you know I like me some ferrocerium rods and then finally let's look at this knife pretty good size for a neck knife and oh yes yeah, a Tonto you know I like me some Tontos it actually feels pretty good in my hand it's D2 steel it's like it's got a sharp don't tell my wife we're in the house let's see Okay, she throws some sparks too. So, oh, and the sheath even has a little diamond sharpening plate on the side of it. So, pretty decent little 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 deal here. I think I kind of I kind of dig that. I like the Tonto. Feels pretty good in my hand. So that's anyway. Um, hopefully, this has been a detailed enough to look at this little knife for you because um, I want to I want to I want to make sure that you're getting some value out of these. So, this is Holzman. I don't know what the price on these things are, and I, I, I generally refrain from saying prices for a couple reasons. First of all, just because they're um, subject to change constantly, you just never know what they're going to be. And then they, um, some of the stuff that, that BattleBox has is BattleBox branded stuff, so they can say whatever they want. They say they can say it's worth whatever they want to, but you can look it up. Um, if you're watching this, you probably have an internet connection, so um, you can check it out and see if you can what, what the prices are on it. So that's the Holzman neck knife. When Alexander Graham Bell first invented the telephone, he had three missed calls from Chug Norris. So the next level is a pro box, and at the pro box, you get everything. You know, you know. Okay, more money, more stuff. So I think this is pretty cool. This is the. Co Koala Tree Kachula Blanket with Hood and Poncho. So let's uh, open this sucker up. It's water and spill resistant, converts to an emergency poncho, connectable snaps to join multiple blankets, antimicrobial stuffs into a pillow, zippered storage pocket. Let's have a look, see. So, okay. Let's have a look at it, see how big it is. So it's sort of like a, sort of like a wooby. It's got two layers. Nylon on one side, and kind of this fabric on the other. Uh, snaps here, tied tie it together. Here's the, I guess it's the stuffable pocket. You stuff it all in this pocket here. Oh, it's got a hood here. So here's your hood, okay, stuff's in that pocket. 
Then it goes like. Okay, I might not be smart enough to use it, but um, I'm pretty sure I could. I have to snap it up first. This is going to be a fun video. I want to go ahead and laugh. It's okay. I know. I know. So take this, snap it. Somewhere here. Where's the pocket? Okay. Hey, I never did this before. Okay, we got we got all kinds of little snaps here. We can snap this here like that. Okay. So you can put it over like that. Anyway, put your hood on, you're good to go. So yeah. <laughs> I can tell you it's kind of warm for sure. So uh, there we go. So that's the uh, Koala Tree blanket with a hood poncho. Not a bad piece of kit. It doesn't seem seem like. Um, and here's the pocket that it goes in. I believe it's. Now we can zip that sucker up. It's a nice little storage bag. So, honestly, that'd make a decent little decent little pillow in itself. So that's the uh, Pro Box. <laughs> Man, I, I know this is slightly disjointed and, and, and definitely rambling, but I'm just trying to keep it real for you. Let's move you out of the way and look at what's in the Pro Plus, which is the uh, top level and uh, generally is something sharp. But uh, let's have a look at that now and see. This is a Wii knife, which um, Wii knives make some pretty cool knives usually. This is the Banter Folder. Oh, and it's got all their cool little stickers. I mean, they got, you know, little knife stickers and stuff. Pretty cool. Everybody puts stickers now. And a nice little case. Fur lined. Ooh. And here it is. It's a wood handled folder. Let's see what it says about it. It's, it's, it's um, <laughs> you're going to love this my pronunciation. It's designed by Ben Peterson. I think Ben was, um, Ben Peterson, I don't know. Um, maybe he worked for um, Life Depot for a while, I don't know. Uh, S35VN steel, black stone wash, flat grind, drop point. Uh, it's nice and smooth. It's a liner lock. It has Cui Bortuia, wait, <laughs> Cui, Bortu, Cui Bortia wood. And man, it flicks open really nice. Uh, so, uh, has an ambidextrous pocket clip, nice thumb studs, and it absolutely opens up really, really, really smoothly. Um, oh, caged bearings, so that, that kind of tells you why it's so smooth. It's a pretty cool knife there. If I had to guess, I'd say this was probably somewhere around 100 bucks, but you know, we'll, you'll have to look it up. Weed knife banter folder. Um, and that's everything in this battle box, mission one. Which one was the 109? If you saw something that you um, didn't know about, um, I like to know which one it was. I'll tell you, I try to pick my favorite, at least one favorite thing out of every box. And sometimes it's in, like this knife is really cool, but I got to say, my favorite thing in this box that I did not know existed was these Wildland Poison Ivy Removal Wipes. So if you don't get anything else out of this video, you learn about these, and if Poison Ivy is a thing for you, um, I want to check these out. So that's it. Thanks again to the folks at BattleBox for sending me these boxes every month so I can show them to you. Thank you for watching Survival on Purpose. Remember, survival is not an accident, so be prepared. Don't be itching. I'll see you next time.